Hi, Montana. Today was day three of Montana's legislature. We met in business and labor this morning for an organizational meeting. We heard from the Commissioner of Securities and Insurance, uh, Mr. Rosendale, and the Commissioner of Labor, Pam Busey. We also had presentations on work comp and on liquor licensing. We're going to hear a lot of diverse bills in that uh, committee, and I'm really excited about it. The Historical Society was in the rotunda today for lunch. It's always good to see the folks who are dedicated to preserving Montana's past, which will then help us inform our decisions in the future. Um, there was no business, no bills to speak of on the House floor, but if you were watching, you saw a Republican representative stand up and ask to re-refer his bill from Transportation Committee to Judiciary Committee. That happened under order of business number nine, motions, and it just reminded me um, to explain that the majority party has an amazing amount of power in these legislative sessions. I hope everyone understands that the majority party decides where we park, they have the final say on our seating charts, they have the final say on the who, what, and when of the committees, meaning they decide who is on which committee, they decide what bills go to which committee, they decide um, when and if the bills will be heard in those committees, when the committee meetings will happen, where the committees will meet, um, how long people can talk in the committees and what they can say in their testimony. It is really the majority party's responsibility. So it's it's their rodeo or circus, however you want to think of it, and they are responsible for what happens. Um, we cannot pass good legislation without building a coalition, and we the only way we can prevent bad bills from happening are through the goalie in the governor's office. Um, so keep that in mind as we move through this session. There was a short training today after the House floor ended. It was on um, how to get co-sponsors for your bills and where to pick bills up. Um, I have to think that none of this was necessary from the staff before term limits, so it's interesting to think how the term limits have affected the jobs of the staff and the institutional knowledge. Um, the Speaking of our staff, the Montana Legislative Fiscal Division released their chart of the week today. It's on the budget. I created a link for you that'll be make it easy to find. It's bit.ly slash budget chart, and you can go and just take a really broad overview of the moving pieces that are in the proposed budget. This afternoon in House, a joint meeting of the House Education Committee, we heard from a lot of the stakeholders and it's worth noting that here in Montana, we are perhaps the only state that sees a coalition of the school boards, the school administrators, which, which means principals and superintendents, education professionals, um, and the rural education associations come together to communicate with each other and listen to each other to advocate for students' rights to a free, quality, public education. It's really remarkable how well those organizations work together and advocate for students' rights. It was great to see the students from Montana State University and the University of Montana today in the Education Committee. I'm glad that they're in town. Two of my three bills are up in, the, in hearings next week, and that reminds me to tell you that, to remind you that that you can always go to ledge.mt.gov to, to look up your local representative in your district and find out what bills they're carrying, what committees they're on. You can follow bills as they go through the process. You can see how representatives vote on all of the bills. It's a lot of information. So do your homework, pay attention, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.